welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today we're doing a quick Windows tip on this free file menu customization tool. If you're using XP, Vista, Windows 7, it works in all of those. Basically, I went ahead and installed it here in Windows 7 64-bit. Works in 32-bit as well, of course. And um, this little freeware utility allows you to basically customize your Windows Explorer when you right-click that context menu to add more functionality to it. Now you've seen my registry tweaks on adding things, but this file menu tool allows you to save the way you want your menus. You can import them later if you want on another machine, for example, and you can add custom commands, which is really the big benefit, I think, of this utility. Now, let me show you here what I'm talking about. On the right-hand side here, it has all these checkboxes. All of these things are already added to the right-click menu in a sub-menu called File Menu. Okay, and um, I know that's a that's a mouthful right there. But anyways, uh, as you can see here, that's it's a long list of stuff that you can customize and display, enable, remove, add, whatever. So that is powerful. In this example here, if I right click on this file and go to File Menu Tools, you'll see there all of the stuff that I just showed you that was checked off. If you don't want any of those, then obviously you can uncheck all those boxes, right? And then it will just display what you want. So start unchecking, customizing the way you want that to appear. And of course, if you want to add your own custom commands, then you can do that as well. So I've gone ahead and removed a few. After you've done that, for example, and you just have the ones that you want, then you click on the check box there to apply the changes, and then that's it. Now when you go and you right click in the Windows Explorer window here, you're going to see now that it's customized that file menus tool sub menu with just the options that you wanted. Okay. And um, when it comes to adding a command, if you click on add command in this utility, you can then maybe launch a program. When you right click on a file, maybe you want to send that to an email um, or you want to launch a program, something custom, right, that you, that you have maybe already a batch file for and you want to execute that batch file on a file. So things like that, you know, something for you to play around with and try, see what you think. Let me know if it's any use to you guys. I thought it was interesting and it's free and um, there's a lot of potential here with this uh, utility. So I thought I'd share it because many of you are still using Windows XP, which is fine. And this works in that. And of course, a lot of you have moved over from Vista to Windows 7. So then, of course, this works in Windows 7 as well. So um, lots of use for uh, Windows 7 here with all these commands. It's pretty uh, powerful and... Um, could come in handy you never know so again leave a comment if uh, if you like it I added the link to uh, downloading it on my web page I'll put the uh, link below the video and I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching